The first day of school can be an emotional time for students, for parents, even for the teachers. This year, one teacher in Middletown, New Jersey, is back in the classroom with some new energy and a new kidney. Lauren Krupe's ability to continue teaching is all thanks to the kindness of a colleague. Today, everyone at St. Leo the Great School was on Team Krupe. Here's Eyewitness News reporter Lauren Glassberg. It's the start of school at St. Leo the Great, and Lauren Krupe couldn't be happier to be back teaching sixth grade language arts. It feels amazing to be here on the first day of school. It feels, I feel better than ever. And rejuvenated, not just from the summer break, but from getting a new kidney. I really didn't know how bad I felt because it was such a gradual decline. Um, but I mean, even the day after surgery, I just, I perked up and couldn't believe the difference. She had the surgery June 1st, and her donor happens to be a fellow teacher, Michael Daneman. I figured, you know, this would be a great way to help somebody while I'm still alive, you know, and while I, while I can, um, while I can actually see the benefits of it myself. Michael teaches computer science and knew Lauren needed a kidney because of a genetic mutation. He was a match and had a deep motivation to help. My mom passed away when I was five years old, so... I look at her kids and I think they really need her mom. And if I can help, you know, keep her around, you know, for these kids and keep her healthy, I really want to try that. Um, so that was actually a huge part of my decision process. Both recovered in time to return to the school that's been rooting for them. And as teachers, they know their experience is ripe with lessons for their students. I really hope that they learn that, you know, you can be of service to people and you can give of yourself um, to help somebody make a, you know, a better life for themselves. I hope they take away kindness, being there for each other, um, you know, never giving up, persevering through challenges. I hope they take it all. Life lessons you can't find in a textbook. Lauren Glassberg, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.